everyone welcome to smart math online tutor through this video i'm going to tell you how to perform division of fractions by a fraction a whole number or a mixed number so to have a clear idea regarding division of fractions first of all we should know the reciprocal of fractions and numbers remember reciprocal of a number or a fraction means interchanging the numerator and the denominator of a fraction Let's have a look at some examples. Look here, 1 over 5. To get the reciprocal of this, what we do is interchange 1 and 5. That is, we bring 1 down and take 5 up. So our answer becomes 5 over 1. We know when the denominator is 1, the answer is 5 itself. So this is the reciprocal of 1 over 5. 3, as you know, is a whole number. The denominator of any whole number is 1. Now, once when we interchange 3 and 1, we get 1 over 3. Two, three over 4 is a mixed number. To get the reciprocal of a mixed number, what we should do first is to convert this into an improper fraction. We know 2 into 4 is 8, 8 plus 3 is 11. So the mixed number into the improper fraction becomes 11 over 4. So once when you interchange the numerator of and the denominator of the improper fraction, we get 4 over 11. Remember this fact carefully. When any fraction, suppose 2 over 3, the reciprocal of it is 3 over 2. So once when you multiply these two, that is the fraction and its reciprocal, you can see clearly the twos will cancel and the threes also will cancel off like this. Now giving us the answer 1. Remember the answer you get when you multiply any fraction or a number by its reciprocal is 1. Now let's see how to perform division of fractions. First of all, we are going to pay our attention for divisions involving fractions and whole numbers. Look into these examples. 4 over 5 divided by 3. The first step of performing division is write the first fraction as it is. So we write 4 over 5 and instead of division, we write the multiplication sign. And then instead of the next part, we write the reciprocal of that. That is the reciprocal of 3 is 1 over 3. Now we multiply as usual. 4 into 1 is 4, 5 into 3 is 15. So 4 over 15 is our answer. 5 divided by 10 over 11. Now in this case, just like before we write 5 as it is, instead of division we put multiplication and the reciprocal of the next part. Here you can see 5 and 10 can, can be cancelled by 5. So you get 11 over 2. We know it is an improper fraction. So let's convert it into a mixed number. That is 5 and a half. The next example is 6 divided by 9 over 10. Again, we write 6 as it is. Multiplication, reciprocal of 9 over 10, that is 10 over 9. Now, once when we cancel 6 and 9 by 3, we get 2 and 3 like this. Let's perform the multiplication. 2 into 10 is 20 over 3. Again, this is an improper fraction. So, let's convert it into a mixed number. That becomes 6, 2 over 3. The last example over here, 3 divided by 1 over 5. Just like before we write 3 as it is and then multiplication, the reciprocal of 1 over 5 is 5 over 1. So 3 into 5 is 15. 1 can be neglected. So our answer becomes 15. The next section we are going to look into is division involving fractions. Now let's see how to perform that. Now look here, 1 over 3 is to be divided by 2 over 5. 
Just like before the first fraction, we write it as it is 1 over 3. So then we write 1 over 3. Instead of division, we write multiplication. And instead of 2 over 5, we write its reciprocal that is 5 over 2. And now we perform the multiplication. 1 into 5 is 5 and 3 into 2 is 6. 3 over 4 is divided by 1 over 4. Now, once again, we write the first part as it is, 3 over 4. And instead of division, remember always to put multiplication. And the next fraction we write as 4 over 1. That's its reciprocal. 4s can be cancelled. Our final answer then becomes 3. Now, in this case, 3 over 7 divided by 6 over 17. 3 over 7, we write it as it is. And 17 over 6 should be written since it is the reciprocal. Here, 3 and 6 can be cancelled by 3. Then we get 1 and 2 respectively. So, our answer becomes there 17 over 14. So, here 17 over 14 is an improper fraction. So, we convert it into a mixed number. Our answer becomes 1, 3 over 14. The final section of divisions in fraction involves division of mixed numbers. So, let's look into some examples where we can learn division involving mixed numbers clearly. Here, 1 and a half is to be divided by 6. So, the first step of divisions involving mixed numbers is to convert the mixed numbers into improper fractions. So, we know 1 and a half is equal to 3 over 2. So, we write 3 over 2 divided by 6. Then, 3 over 2 as it is, when we convert division to multiplication, the next part becomes the reciprocal. In this case, 3 and 6 can be cancelled. Then, our answer becomes 1 over 4. Moving on to the next example, 6 divided by 1 and a half. Now, in this case, again, we should convert 1 and a half into the improper fraction. Then it becomes 6 divided by 3 over 2. Now, we convert into multiplication. That is 6 multiplied by 2 over 3. That is the reciprocal. Now, let's cancel 6 and 3 by 3. So, there you get 2 and 1. So, 2 into 2 is 4. 1 can be neglected. 4 over 5 divided by 1, 1 third. So, 4 over 5 we write as it is and division. Then we convert 1, 1 over 3 into an improper fraction. Then it becomes 4 over 3. And then let's convert it into multiplication. That is 4 over 5 multiplied by 3 over 4. It is very clear that 4s can be cancelled. So, our final answer becomes 3 over 5. The next example is 1 1 third divided by 4 over 5. So, here 1 1 third we write it as an improper fraction that is 4 over 3 divided by 4 over 5. Then converting it into multiplication that is 4 over 3 multiplied by 5 over 4. So, that is the reciprocal of 4 over 5. Again, we can cancel the 4s. So, our answer becomes 5 over 3. In this case, it is an improper fraction. So, we never leave the final answer as an improper fraction. Let us convert it into a mixed number. The mixed number becomes 1, 2 over 3. The final example, divide, division of a mixed number by a mixed number. The first step is convert both the mixed numbers into improper fractions. So, that gives you 13 over 5 divided by 17 over 10. Now, let us perform the usual procedure. 13 over 5, we write it as it is. And instead of division, we have to put multiplication. And 17 over 10, the reciprocal we must write. So, that becomes 10 over 17. Now, let us cancel 10 and 5 by 5. So, you get 2 and 1 respectively. Then the answer becomes 26 over 17 and still it is not the final answer since it is an improper fraction. So, once when it is converted to a mixed number, the answer becomes 1, 9 over 17. Hope 
I made myself clear with respect to division of fractions. See you with another smart math tip. Until then, goodbye.